Good morning, everyone. So I brought my camera. We got a brand new camera. I was so excited to finally create a video for this channel. I haven't made one in so long. And right when I turned it on, the focus was off. So I was like, oh, okay, I'll fix it. And then the camera just died. And I don't have an extra battery. It's a new camera, so we only have one battery right now. I'm definitely going to have to order a new one on Amazon. But I'm at the Goodwill, and I'm going to look for some decor items today and also some stuff for our office so we're redoing our office and it's terrible right now it is it's definitely much needed and long overdue I want to do a whole video on the office transformation but I think that today I'm just gonna get some stuff for it and also I just love I love shopping for home decor at Goodwill I don't know why so I'm gonna be getting some stuff today I don't want that to fall so I'm gonna be getting some stuff mainly for the office, but then if I find other things, I'm gonna get other things. Sometimes they have new blankets here. My dog needs a new blankie for his crate, so I'm gonna look for that. Probably browse the clothing. I recently sprained my ankle and I'm feeling better, so this is one of the first all-out thrift shop trips, thrift trips I'm doing. I was going to the thrift store with my scooter. I had a knee scooter and it wasn't fun because getting through the aisles with the cart and the scooter and everything was just terrible. And then I was able to walk around a little bit, but I could only withstand so much walking and then it would start hurting. So today is my first full day thrifting. I'm back. I'm ready. Um, I've been going to the same Goodwill on it like consistently and I'm coming back to the same one. I don't know if that's the best idea. They always have good stuff here, but hopefully for the next video, um, I'll go to a different one. But for right now, I'm going to the one that's closest to my house. So let's go inside. First thing I'm looking at are the pots. I found these. I don't know what I would do with them, but they're good quality and they're pretty cheap. So I'm gonna keep these for now. Look how dope these are. There's a baby one too. Oh, this is only a dollar. I'm trying to figure it out right now. It's kind of cute though. I feel like we could sand this and restain it and then repaint the legs. I don't know. I was thinking I could take this part off maybe and then create a wall hanging. I don't know if that'd be weird, but I think it's kind of interesting. This in the plant section. I usually don't find anything in the big plant section, but this looks kind of cute. I don't really like the pot, but the top is definitely our vibe. I'm gonna look good in the office. So I'm looking at the artwork right now, and if you don't know, the iPhone has a measure app. Um, I don't have measuring tape with me. So basically you can just show the artwork to your phone and then it'll measure it for you so you know exactly how big it is so you don't get the wrong size. <laughs> of course. Okay. Mary brought me his Connect 4. <laughs> so I did get some home decor for the office, but then I ended up getting a bunch of other random things that I just thought were cool. Stuff for my room, um, stuff for work. So I'm just gonna show you everything that I got. The first thing that I got was this. It is basically fake eucalyptus and then I don't know what flowers these are, but it kind of just looks like dry flowers. And I liked how it looked. It came in this little pot that I wasn't a huge fan of, but it came as one. So I ended up finding this interesting vase and it's kind of flat and I thought it would look cool together. It has this detailing on it, which is really nice, and it's really good quality. The brand is Merck. I don't know what that is. Um, but I thought it looked much better, a lot more, I guess, modern in this pot. A lot more our style, so. So, I'm really excited about that. The plant and this together was $5, and then this pot itself was $3. I don't know. I guess I can use this somewhere else, but I don't know. It's cool, but it's not really my style, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Next up, I've got this, it's just a little piece of wood that I'm gonna use for food photography, it was $3. It's actually a really nice piece of wood, and I was trying to find a round cutting board, and online they were, they were coming out to be like 12 to $20, I don't know why, so this, this will do. And then next I got this, which is, um, I forgot what the craft is called. Do you know what it's called, babe? Where they make the, uh, uh what is it called? 
Needlepoint. Needlepoint? I don't know. Is that? It's not crochet. crochet. I don't think it's crochet. Is it? No, I don't know. I don't know. But I thought it would be cool if I took this wood piece off and then put some strings down here and made it into a macrame wall hanging. I've never seen a macrame on a circular object like this, so it'll be interesting. Hopefully it works out. That's going to be a project that I'm going to make for either the office or for our front. We have a front room coming that we're working on right now. See, we're working on our whole house right now, so it's kind of uh, insane. The next thing that I got is this. So it's basically a pan, like a, I think it's like a baking pan or baking sheet and it's metal. And I thought that this, it's kind of shiny, but I thought it'd be cool if I made some sort of cheese board or um, charcuterie board on this vegan, of course. And I don't know. I don't know why it caught my eye. If it is too shiny for photography, I might paint it. Um, a different color or maybe I could put some like marble contact paper on it to make it marble. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but I really liked it. For some reason on the back it says $199.95, which I don't know if someone actually bought it for that price, but I bought this for $8. I forgot to say what the other thing was. I think this was $3. $3. Oh, so I ended up getting frames and like I was telling you in the video, if you have an iPhone, you can just use the measure app and what it does is it measures any object basically that you put in front of it. I think you have to um, set, I think you have to like calibrate it when you first open that. I don't really remember, it was a while ago. But it was really easy because um, I was able to just put frames on the floor and then put my, ca my camera over it. And it was telling me the exact width and height of all of the frames I was looking at because I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna put on our office wall and I wanna put a bunch of different frames in different sizes so I had a bunch of sizes written down and I got two frames that crossed two off the list so first is this one and it does have a really nice photo on it but I don't know if I'm gonna keep that I really liked the frame itself it's like a worn white wood and this was four dollars this is pretty right Chris? that's so pretty it's a cute. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm gonna save the artwork though. But it's really cute. It's really nice. And then the second frame I got was this guy. This was four dollars, and this one is sort of like a, um, a worn gold, I guess. And this one has artwork in it as well that I'm going to replace. Um, yeah. But I actually just realized the back you cannot open. So what? What are we to do here? That is the question. There's got to be a way, right? How do they get in? Oh, we have to take the paper out. But then do you think we'll be okay? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm scared. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I got was a... I can't even think of what it's called. A lamp. And I think we're going to put this on either the side table in our bedroom or on the office um, table. And if you know me, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I love speckled ceramic anything. And this one is a speckled ceramic lamp. It does have some sort of flower thing on it, which I don't really mind. I can kind of turn it on side, but the cord will show. So I think I'm just gonna deal with that. I haven't tested it out yet though. Um, they didn't have any lights there, so I have to screw a light bulb into here and then put a lampshade on it and see if it works. And I got this oil container for our food photography. This was a dollar. Um, I got this, which was also a dollar, and it's just a jar, which is also for food photography, so I'm probably not going to use that. And then, like in day-to-day -day life. Next, I got a fork for food photography. I really liked the detail on it, and this was 50 something, 40 something cents. I thought you were gonna say dollars. Imagine, $50. <laughs> and the next two things, I'm so excited. So, when we went to New Jersey recently for Chris's, we went on a vacation with Chris's family, and his mom had these jars in the house that we made cocktails um, in. And the jars had like fruits on them and it was it was a glass jar like this. I'm like, oh, these are so cute. And um, I don't know, I just remembered them. And then when I was thrift shopping today, I saw something very similar. 
So this is a jar and it has like grapes on it, strawberries, a bunch of different things. I thought it was really cute. I don't know if we're gonna use this for photography or just to make drinks out of, but I don't know. I couldn't pass on them and they were like 50 cents each, so. I got another jar for food photography. This one actually doesn't have the um, silicone stopper, which is what is used to make it airtight, but I'm not gonna actually use this for food, so I think, it'll, I think it'll be okay. Cause this one's a little wonky, but I think it'll, no one will have to know, it's just a photo, right? And then I ended up getting one of those vases I showed you in the beginning, this was two bucks, and I really like it. It is very simple, and we're gonna put this probably in our bedroom. Uh, what were these? This was a dollar, that was two dollars, and then the other one was a dollar, okay. Mm, last but not least, when I was on my way out, when I was heading to the register, I stumbled upon something and really random, but it was a reduced price. It was $4 and I don't know. So I got these nesting tables and nesting tables are basically like the tables that fit underneath each other. And this has, a, it's silver, the legs are silver and then it has a snake print like textured top, which I don't like, but I was thinking we could take it apart. I looked at the bottom and the tops are just screwed in, so we can unscrew the tops and then we can paint the bottom a matte black and replace the top with a wood, a stained wood that we can just make ourselves and create something like this. I'll put a photo on the screen. That's probably gonna be a project I'm gonna work on relatively soon. I hope that it's as easy as I think it's gonna be because I really want to make it happen and I want to do a craft on this channel so I think that'll be one of my first crafts. DIY. Crown. Uh, thrift flip. And that is all I got at the thrift store. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is super random, but I love thrifting. I love creating videos and sharing it and I hope you are encouraged to go to the thrift store and get some things for yourself. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.